Hi guys, my name is Singh. I'm a blogger over at Sangerson.com. I blog about home decor and lifestyle. And what I wanted to talk to you guys about today in this video series are um, our experiences in ordering the Blinds.com signature wood shutters for our kitchen nook. What I will say is that my most favorite window treatment of all are plantation shutters, also known as interior shutters. And so we ordered the Blinds.com signature wood shutters for our home, and there are various options that we could choose from. So in this video series, I'll be talking about all those different options and what was going through our minds when we were ordering them. Um, I know that whenever I was doing research on plantation shutters, they were the only window treatment that you can actually finance into the purchase of a home. That's crazy, right? Um, I, I know that they bring a ton of value to the home and also they look gorgeous in any home. And so sit back, relax, um, learn about the design process and ordering process that we went through with Blinds.com and then um, make the determination of whether or not the plantation shutters are right for you. Plantation shutters are an investment. So when you're shopping around for plantation shutters, it's really important that you ensure that the company that you're working with actually will take your measurements and fit that window for that space. In our kitchen nook, we have fan cat seating. And so if you look at the window treatment that I have here, um, this is the plantation shutter that we ordered. And these were the old um, wood faux blinds that we had. You can kind of tell that this shutter was customized for the space because whenever I provided the measurements, I was also able to, um, as an example, provide where I wanted the divider rail and I wanted it to hit right above bank cat seating. So plantation shutters are um, definitely an investment so you want to make sure that you give measurements to that company and they build it to your specifications on where they should hit. And that company should also provide um, various options for you to customize. And that's what I'll explain here in the video, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of why it's so important to ensure that you have different options to choose from when you're building your custom shutters. Another great benefit to installing plantation shutters is curb appeal. Oftentimes I find myself driving home from work and I would find that my faux wood blinds would be lopsided or crooked because my toddlers and cats love to kind of peek outside the window. So if you're on the brink on whether or not you should install them, know that that is a great benefit. Visual curb appeal. At the time of this recording, there are about 13 different standard color options to choose from when ordering your shutters from blinds.com. What we decided to do was a different route that they offered, which was a custom color. And what we wanted to do was match our trim color with the plantation shutters. And I don't think we could have gone wrong either if we chose one of their standard colors. Um, as you can see, a white would stand out perfectly with our um, very unique trim color. When we moved into this home, um, we kind of knew that the trim color was kind of different. It's kind of a khaki color. And what we wanted to do was to match the um, plantation shutters with a standard color and not match it exactly to the trim color that is actually on there uh, because we knew that after seven years um, of this home being built that paint would have faded and so if we ever wanted to touch up uh, the paint we wanted to ensure that the plantation shutters wouldn't have to be messed with and so that's why we chose um, to match the color and what we did was uh, we sent in what the color was and they sent us a paint chip to ensure that's the color we wanted and indeed it was so with that said it's awesome that if you want to do a custom color and you were concerned about the colors matching they send you a wood chip that you can compare and as it turned out it looks great so with that said um, I wouldn't be afraid to do a custom color because they turned out amazing there's also the option to choose the color of your hinges there are about three different options currently today that I saw that you can um, choose from and there's also the ability to custom color our hinges and how we decided on the color was we wanted to kind of match um, what we had for the doorknobs um, on the inside of our home. The next option we had were in terms of louver sizes. There were options to choose from a two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half. Through my research, what I found was the two and a half is more for traditional rooms with normal ceilings, such as a bathroom or a bedroom. Um, for us, in our kitchen, the, our ceilings are a little bit higher, so we chose a three and a half, not only because um, it made sense for the room, but I think it gives it a more grander feel. Four and a half would have been too big. Four and a half I've seen only in bigger, grander rooms where they're soaring ceilings. Um, with that said, in addition to uh, comparing the two and a half and three and a half for your space, what I found that people talk about is how much light the two and a half uh, brings in versus the three and a half. 
and if you want more light in, um, what I've found is that the three and a half brings in more light, but again, you have to ensure that it makes sense for that space. In a normal, traditional room, you would have a two and a half. Another option that you have is the tilting. So you can actually have the classic front tilt, which is what I have here, where you have this bar that allows you to tilt it, or you can have it hidden. And what that means is you don't have this bar, and all you have to do is just um, touch the slot and it tilts. So I chose the um, classic front tilt because it um, kind of is traditional and that's what I like, but you can choose whatever you want to do. I think even the clear front tilt would have looked good in my house, um, but I'm more of the traditional type, um, um, so that's why I chose this. The next question that we had was the type of mount that we wanted. So the different options that we had were an inside and outside mount, and then a Z or an L mount. Since our windows already have casement around them, we decided that we wanted an L mount and it would be an inside mount. So what it would do was it would be inset into the window. An outside mount, what that means is if your window does not have casement around it or framing around it, you can actually get a mount that has framing around it so that you have the shutters and the framing all in one. One of the biggest decisions that you'll have to make is in terms of your framing as well as your divider rails. So what you'll have to consider is whether or not you want a full shutter or if you want cafe shutters which allows you to have uh, shutters at the bottom but not at the top and you'll typically see that in bathrooms or if you want um, double hung shutters which allows you to have um, doors at the top and at the bottom um, both divided. And what we decided to do was have a full shutter, and so our full shutter actually allows us to open um, the shutter all the way from top to bottom with the window. And we decided to also add divider rails so that we control privacy from the top and the bottom. Um, so we wanted actually privacy at the top and the bottom versus cafe shutters where this would be completely open. So it really depends on um, what the function of the room is and also your personal preference in terms of letting light in as well as privacy. So that was it. Uh, those are all the different options you can choose from when customizing your plantation shutters from blinds.com. Again, we got the custom color blinds.com signature wood shutters and they are amazing. Um, we also have a video series on our tips and tricks on how to install these shutters and ensuring that um, your shutters will fit even if your windows aren't perfectly square. So check that video out um, and then check out my blog on www.sangerson.com to see the before and after photos of our um, reveal of our kitchen nook. So thank you again for watching. I hope that was helpful um, in determining all the different options you have for ordering your plantation shutters.